Okay, let's let the chat populate. Let's let the chat populate. How are you all doing, by the way? How the devil are you? How the devil are you? I have a stone in my shoe. Do I ride with the stone in my shoe, or do I... Or do I bail? Should I take the stone out of my shoe, is the question. Evening everyone, how you doing, how you doing? Make yourselves known in the chat. I need to cut my hair, I think. It's starting to get a little bit um, annoying. Especially with this this wind that's now blowing at me. Um, I've got a different setup tonight. You can't see the fan that's right here. It's literally just out of shot. In fact, I'm touching the fan right now. So, it's pretty close. This is just a basic like tower fan. And then the one down here is obviously the headwind. So how is the wind noise? Is there any wind noise or not? Just the motor. Oh, there we are. That's fine. That's fine. That is fine. Um. Yeah, this is the Cycling Weekly Club Ten Mile Time Trial. It's uh, ten miles. Surprise, surprise. Um, the actual course for this. So, if anybody, those of you that are going to stay in here, um, and if there's anybody new that comes along. And they ask what the course is, tell them it's the Bologna course, but we we start here, obviously. We head to the climb, we go up the climb, turn at the top, come down, and then we finish at the bottom of the climb. So we come back to the start, turn, and come back, we finish at the bottom of the climb. So we don't come back up the climb again. Hey Jason. Hey Paul. Hey Tom. I think I might have to get the stone out of my shoe, to be honest. I can't see me doing a, a flat out effort for 20, 25 minutes uh, with a stone in my shoe. <laughs> there is actually a course record for this. It was set last week. So I, well, Cycling Weekly. Um, Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Gavin Lancaster did a twenty four forty one. Twenty four forty one. So I've got to go faster than a twenty four forty one to go faster than the fastest rider last week. Well, hey, thanks for the subscription. I think, I don't know if you can use it on your bike, can you? But this is what I wanted to ask you all, now that there's a couple of you in the chat. Um, should I use a time trial bike or not? This is a time trial, but we are going at Bologna. It's 2k at 10%, remember. And then we're coming back down. So is it worth having a time trial bike? for the sake of, I mean, it probably is, isn't it? I should change to a time trial bike. There's no draft, obviously.
Yeah. So you're saying time trial bike then? Yeah. Also, this is a good chance to um, to showcase like how you pace an effort. Hopefully, all right. Let's make the change. Hey, Tim. Nice to have you, buddy. Thanks for jumping in. Let's have a look then. Hey, David. Thank you for jumping in. Let's have a look then. Let's have a look. We've got a bit of time to spare here, so uh, garage, the garage, frame, what TT bike do I have? Specialized shiv, but I don't have very good wheels. So what wheels do I go, what wheels do I use with this thing? Are we thinking the 808 Super 9? Well, it has to be, doesn't it? Surely. That setup? What do you think, guys? Leave your thoughts. Just gonna have a little spin. I mean, like you say, it's. I mean, it's a climb, isn't it? But the majority of this time trial is going to be on the flat or downhill. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to lose time on the climb, let's face it. <laughs> um, I'd like to think that I won't, anyway. Anything could happen. I might be on a bad day. Hey, Rodri. Thanks for the good luck. All right, cool. Thank you, DJ. We'll stick with this setup then. Even Phil, for the second time today. Hope you're enjoying your recovery. Do I have a helmet? Do I have an aero helmet? Oh, we will full on aero. That doesn't make a difference, does it? So we'll have it anyway, just for the sake of it. Oh, I didn't know I had Marek shoes. I'm so out of touch. <laughs> Let's go for the full time trial look. <laughs> full time trial look. <laughs> You're fine to plug. You're fine to plug. I'll have to buy next week so I can weekly, definitely. <laughs> so, um, what am I thinking for this uh, for this time trial? <laughs> Callum McQueen. <laughs> he would end up breaking course record tonight. We'll see, we'll see. Um, 24.41 I think is the course record. Or so I've seen on David's uh, Twitter. Um, ideally, ideally, ideally what I'll do is I'll set out and I'll hold uh, a relatively comfortable pace, uncomfortably comfortable pace. And then when we get to the climb, there's a little, there'll be a little bit of ebb mode. Uh, yes, <laughs> yeah. So like the weekly event record, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, I'm not a fan of having disc brakes on this time trial bike. What's going on? Can we not have a rim brake version? Um, and then I'm going to recover on the descent. And then we'll, we'll restart the engines at the bottom then, hopefully. So, a little bit of a little bit of everything uh, in today's course as some of you if some of you go on to Zwift Insider and you have a look at this event and you read what they've got on there 
um, is a really handy guide as to like how to pace any time trial, not just this time trial. And uh, I'm just giving you my thoughts as to what I think would be the fastest way to tackle this course. Because at the end of the day, it's the, it's, it is the fastest guy that wins, not the fastest or not the guy with the most power. So um, it's where you put down that power. And, and because this one has a hill on it, it's, uh, there's an obvious place to invest uh, energy, especially when there's like a, you know, a one minute descent um, down the other side of it. Well, one to two minutes, I guess. Thank you, Kim. Uh, the climb is 2k at 10% roughly, uh, Tim. I think you do the first 100 meters really quickly. Have you not? Have you not, DJ? I've, d I've done a couple. I've not done a load, but I've done a couple. Okay, six minutes to my start time. Like, to be fair, to be fair, I should probably like. I don't know if we're allowed to get held up on the start line for this one. I know contact's not allowed anymore. I actually quite like this course. I quite like it. I mean, I know it's obviously hilly, but I like the um, I like I like the scenery of it, and I like the climb as well. It's a nice climb. It's a scenic climb. You know, any climb that you do when you go to a village or anything like that is nice. Yeah, Fugal Flats is horrible, isn't it? Um, so, everyone's staggered, it's a staggered start, so the first rider will be off uh, in one minute. Well, the first rider will be off in basically uh, six o'clock on the dot. And then we all get like shunted forward one, and then we go off like that, so it is a staggered start, basically. Hey, nice one, Sam. I bought it, Tom. I think I bought it on the drop shop. Okay, first rider off in twenty seconds. Oh, look how narrow I look. Oosh. I'm not going to have much of a chance to wipe my brow during this. Uh, I, better, I better leave it there. Accidents will happen. Okay. So it looks like there's a 15 second gap to each rider. Uh, making sure everything's running okay. I'm pretty sure it is, so we're all good. The fan is on full whack now, by the way. The Wahoo headwind. I'm not going to drink much during this. Okay, 
Okay. Two and a half minutes. Oh, I haven't read that, Mick. Thanks for the update, though. I'll have a look. Okay. <laughs> there we go. This is going to be super interesting. Just going to wind myself up very slowly. Okay, that fan is on full power. That fan is also on full power. I hate the stagger start. Everybody will just screenshot it. Everybody watching. When I catch uh, Mr. Hutchinson. Yeah. Okay, here we go then. Remember to hit that like button for more power. It does actually work. Okay, one minute. Yeah, I think you're right, Simon. I think you're right. So let's see how I pace this. It should be quite obvious. There won't be a lot of talking, by the way. But it should be quite evident. Thank you, everyone. Here we go. There's a start line. There it is, but look to it. slightly downhill now so it's not power is not massively needed look at the speed there's no need to press
this will be slightly uphill coming back. So, bear that in mind.
I'm going to do this in a time, shall we? Come down clumsily fast. See on a negative five percent, negative six. Still carrying speed.
Come on. Man, that heat is ridiculous. That's how much difference, like... That felt, like, horrible. I can see now most of you have been saying to me that your workouts have been suffering because of the heat. I kind of knew that would happen already, but... When you experience it for yourself, it's like... Yeah, it's, uh... It's pretty horrible. Just give me a sec. Oh. Thank you. Like I said, it's amazing the difference between oof, outside power and inside power. Um, when, uh, yeah, when you're not used to it, then put it put it that way. Like, as a lot of people know, I've not been Zwift racing as much as I, you know, was, and uh, you know, to say that like. <laughs> Outdoors for 20, well, 23 minutes, I can do 6.4, 6.5, 6.6 watts per kilo. Um, I mean, there's obviously other factors as well, like time of day and like everything else, but that's positive for me. You know, that's. How is my power compared to last year's hill climbs? Um, it's, it's better. 
it's better than it was last year, Mick. <coughs> um, yeah, that's, that's true, Phil. Actually, I forgot about that. That's true. We did have a we did have a descent. So let me show you the power curve, uh, which actually looks. Uh, this is probably like one of the better power curves I can show you, just because, um, you know, it is it is a time trial. Uh, and it's not a road race, so you can see exactly. This is why I called this video "Time Troll Pace in 101." <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm a guru by any stretch, but um, we'll see here. Uh, so my best five minutes on this ride was 400. Um, that was obviously going up the climb, so that's like 6.8 watts per kilo, roughly. Um, so here's uh, here's the pace in basically. Um, I mean, phew, looking at that. You know, I don't think I could get much better, to be honest. Um, so, what you can see from that is, you know, quite a plain kind of negative split. And what I mean by that is, uh, you basically start off um, easier than you plan on finishing. Uh, but in this case, uh, I treated it like two time trials, uh, in a sense. Um, now a lot of you probably won't be able to do that because if you look at my heart rate drop uh, on the descent now bearing in mind the descent is what a minute maybe um, my heart rate drop from you know let's face it 176 beats per minute down to 132 um, and what that allows me to do is basically treat it like two time trials now you know for argument's sake you could have a you know a, a less fit individual and you know they would back off here and say they're you know 180 um, they might only get to you know let's say 160 um, and obviously the more conditioned you are the faster that heart rate will drop the faster you recover um, and uh, and everything else that goes along with that basically so what it allows me to do is it allows me to ramp back up and although my heart rate climbs a lot quicker than it does you know in this section I mean you can see this is ridiculous like I'm I'm almost kind of a third of the way in and my heart rate's only just getting to the 160s. Um, you know, and I know sometimes, uh, some people ask me like, how do I know if I'm on for a good effort? Um, well, I know, you know, when I'm, when I'm in the effort. Uh, if I get into the effort like, like this today and I, and I knew that my, that my legs were good just because my heart rate takes a long time to rise, um, it's, it's those calculations you make in your head on the move. Um, and that comes, you know, with practice. Um, but but you can see, um, you know, lots of yellow, which is obviously like threshold zone four. And then you can see the obvious transition then onto the climb, which is red. And because of the steeper sections at the bottom and on that kind of last, I don't know, that bit just after the switchbacks, I invest a bit more on these sections. And then here I kind of transition down into um, into threshold but also my heart rate continues to rise and it continues to rise just because of you know the prolonged effort and the heat and everything else um, and that's completely natural um, but then I know that once I get to the top I have got that um, that reserve in me so I know that I can recover very quickly and then go again so yeah I mean uh, that that's how you pace a time trial like that um, you know outdoors you probably wouldn't have a time trial like this but this is how the this is how you'd race to this course this is how you'd um well this is the fastest way you do it basically you know it, the only way you could go faster is obviously going harder on the uh on on the climb uh or in that final section here, I mean, you're looking at marginals, but the ma the major part of gain time is there, you know, on, on that climb. So, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, what do we see here? We see, oh, look at this. This is real interesting, actually. This is that's a shame. It's only one watt, <laughs> one watt of my best ever power on Zwift for this time period. Is there any here that are exactly the same? They're close, but not quite. And now they're moving further away, further away, further away. So yeah, that first, basically to the top of the climb is that first kind of 
uh, first kind of 13 and a half minutes um, was where I invested the most and then you know it only took me nine minutes to get to the finish on the top so pretty uh, pretty good where's everybody gone still there I see the chat has gone very quiet <laughs> are, you, are you all listening are you all listening to me ramble <laughs> Patiently listen. It's pretty nuts that that's my uh, evening entertainment there, really, isn't it? <laughs> you worked in down no. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> awesome, guys. Absolutely awesome. That's was, was brilliant. That's brilliant. <laughs> Almost like. And just, just to reiterate, like, you know, um, this power doesn't come overnight. You know, I've been doing this, this level then for, for eight years. Um, I've not been producing this power for eight years. It's only the last, you know, two years maybe. Or the last year, definitely, I've been producing this kind of power. It's, that is what you call, you know, natural progression, basically. Um, Oh, nice one. Quick maths there, DJ. I like that. Thank you very much. Oh, nice one, Nils. Nice one. I have to say, I'm, I am kind of rather excited um, for what we call Zwift Racing Season, if there's such a thing, or at least e-racing season then, um, to kick back up and get started again. Um, you know, I I am kind of like I know it's happening now, but you know the winter then when the weather's like properly crap. I'm looking forward to spending a lot more time, you know, with the community, <laughs> sweating my nads off on here. So, um, oh hutch, what was that two minutes slower? Oh, enjoy your smash fest, Niels. <laughs> yeah, very true, Coop. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's definitely right, Sam. Like, it definitely doesn't come overnight. It's a long-term thing, but some people see improvements, you know, very, very quickly, but some people, you know, don't see an improvement till six, seven, eight months down the line, which, you know, that's the thing. You've just got to enjoy it and uh, and keep that balance. Um, I'm also looking forward to my scientist boat parcel getting delivered very soon. Uh, I'm trying some of that Turbo Plus stuff. The, uh, the drink with methanol in it, which I'm kind of thinking I should have ordered for Tour Stations maybe to test it in the heat. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm like, I'm interested. I also purchased a couple of vegan protein bars, which I'm, uh, which I'm interested in testing as well. So yeah, um, we're on that hill climbing. Um, it's not a hill climbing diet, but it's it's the hill climbing it's the it's the hill climbing what should we call it? It's not even cut I don't even lose weight, like I just basically thin off. Oh methanol. Did I say methanol? Menthol <laughs> Oh my word. Uh, silly me. That's a good ad for Science and Sport, that. Sorry, Science and Sport. Sorry, Tim. <laughs> Not you, Tim. I mean, Tim Fulford. Well, I'm in charge of, uh, I'm in charge of eating a meal tonight now, so I've got to cook it. Uh, I've got to cook uh, some pasta, some whole wheat pasta. We're gonna have pesto. And uh, you can't go wrong with pasta pesto. You can never go wrong with that. Um, and also some uh, some lean mince turkey meatballs, homemade. So um, hardly eat meat now. I have to say we hardly eat meat at all. But um, every now and then, isn't it? Every now and then. Um, 
Oh, Tim, I was just saying that uh, <laughs> we're taking uh, menthol. Is it? No, methanol. <laughs> methanol. In the drink, in the Turbo Plus. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm useless, I'm right? absolutely useless. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, <laughs> Steph doing something, yeah. That's what it's like around here. Um, we even have the skeleton as well, Grimmy Buff. You know, the lodger that, that uh, is underfed. No, thank you very much for watching. Uh, that's twice today, so on. Um, I know this one is a little bit more engaging than the other one, but a little bit, a little bit of both, isn't it? You know, we had a chat and ride earlier, and a big old Edmund effort today, which, um, which I try to give you a little bit of a pain face, but it doesn't really come across sometimes. Anyway, as usual, wherever you are, <laughs> no, not gonna end, <laughs> not gonna end on that. No, thank you so much for watching. Um, Right, let's go and get some food. I'll see. <laughs> Did you like that? Did you like that? I really like that, didn't you, Scott? Right. See you soon. See you soon, everyone. <laughs> Have a good evening. Or day, wherever you are.